Hello everyone, I'm going to be talking about pools, the pools that you can have in the Crabbit Hat. <laughs> uh, excuse the um, ambient noise, remember which my brother's playing um, video games. Alright, so I wouldn't really recommend having metal in the Crabbit Hat because of um, misconceptions, but really, really, um, I don't really like them being exposed to all this rust and everything. So I choose plastic, and the good, and the, and the good pools that you can get are Tupperware bowls. You can get the Tupperware bowls around in, um, Walmart and Dollar Store or Target. These are rubber made. And they have all various depths and sizes. So you can get these. What I really prefer, um, the depths of the pools to have are like around three and three and a half inches. So you have your your crab can um, fully submerge. So if your crab was like standing on the floor of the pool, and the water line would be up here. Yes. This would be right here a um a large crab. It would fairly submerge, but the water line will be like a, a few centimeters over the top of the shell. Um a jumbo crab this is a jumbo crab shell. The jumbo crab will will have the water line for like the tip of their eyes or anything. They will not full, they were fully submerged, but they were not fully submerged so they have so much water on the top of them. But also really recommend that you also put air stones in the pools too, so they could get the oxygen flowing in the water. So also when your crab slips around in there and you get what you get bubbles on the inside of their shell. See this is this right here is about three and a half inches deep. This one right here. I had these this one right here, this I had these in my twenty gallon before I upgraded to this one. This one I'm using these pools. The twenty gallon poles that I had. Where's this one and this is how deep it was. But it's about this deep. About, yeah, three inches. Or a little bit over. This one would be about a bit of more deeper, not the same depth. So, I'm a proud kind of person that likes deep pools. And, you, and also, I don't really get into the whole bathing crab, the crab thing, I just let them do it themselves, that will, that will alleviate a lot more stress. And they love to do it their own way, so it's up to them, so. <coughs> they, they have what they, they will have what they need. So yeah, you put air stones in the pool that has the much depth right there. You get the oxygen flowing with the bubbles and then it will decrease your chances of your crab drowning but also when you have your pool when you have your pools in you also have to make sure that they have escape routes where you can put big pebbles I have pebbles this big if you see them right there and also you could put ramps and then when you put the ramps you, you could you also can get one of those those canvas, you get the canvas um, mesh from the the arts and crafts store, and you could put holes right here on the tips. Make sure you don't put the holes right here because you know water can leak. But put the holes up here, and then you can put zip ties and you can zip tie the mesh down to here and that so they could have their escape routes. Yeah. 
I put the, I, I know I have food in here, but I'm just using this as an example that I'm using these type of pool, these types of stuff. Plastic is very much recommended, and it's safe, it's very safe as well.